Hi, I am Sentimus Prime, and here we'll be finishing off our little adventure with the Modroid Full Power Gridman. So here in front of me, I have all of the remaining parts. And these parts include the parts to make Samurai Caliber, the parts to make the powered Xenon, and the parts to make like this weird little core piece thing, core piece torso thing. And of course, that little torso piece thing is what we're gonna start start with. So here we have a little bit of a, uh, instructions going on on this little tiny corner. Obviously, picking up where we left off in the instructions. We're gonna set this piece aside for now, and we're actually gonna start with this. This piece, the part that kind of looks like a uh, grid man's torso. So, we're going to grab these parts. And these parts are different. Because. You see that there's a little bit of a gap. You see that there's like, sort of like a ring thing ar around up here. And you see that there's a gap. Gap on each, on either, on like the opposite side of each one. Yes, as, as we, as we found out in previous model kit adventures, it is very important to know which ones go where. So obviously we'll be slot, slotting these in with these like square slots plugged into here with the gap of this ring pointed downward we have the both these plugged in with the little pegs facing back okay neat now we will grab this big black chunk and just simply squish it together like we would like we would so next is that thing so this is simple it's a simple little six piece thing we're going to be working on the hips next so what we do is we take one of these both I think both of these are identical enough that they don't really matter so we take one of these pieces with the giant Hey, hollow peg in here we plug this in like so at least I think supposed at least I think that's how it's supposed to be then we take one of these and just plug it into the other half of that weird thing And now we have this joint thing going on. Now we now we basically just build another one of this. Come on. Plugging this plugging these in can be a little tricky, but Easily manageable. With, now with these built, I will turn the page. Ignore that. Boom. Hopefully you're able to see that. Here it's just repeating the same step. And here is 
here's our next step. So we take these. So what's going on here is that is that like this peg thing can bend this way all the way, but not this way all the way. So you're basically going to bend these in the direction like so, like bend them 90 degrees in the direction that you're able to bend them 90 degrees. And then you attach these pegs into these holes of which you create, of which you attach to. Like so. Come on. Come on. Boom. Pretty simple. Then you take these two parts, which to my knowledge are completely identical. I think. So what's go going on here is you basically attach the port to the pegs with, with like all, with like the extra excess excess parts of this little thing pointing back. See, now, now that this excess part is pointing back. And with that, this core piece thing, which will be important later, like when reviewing the kit, is now done. Probably hard to see. Anyways, next we can actually work on Samurai Caliber. Heard larger pieces. So, we take the blade. We take this piece, the part. We take this piece. What we do is we tab this little slot into this little groove like so pretty simple then take this piece with the little with the ex with the extra extension thing sandwich that in pretty simple pretty simple take this handle piece plug it into that hole Right there. Neat. Very neat. And this can rotate. Again, very neat. So next what we do is we take this little yellow piece and note that there's one little... Note that one, that this little thing here is flat, whereas this one has a groove in it. So, what's going to happen here is you turn it this way, take one of these, and the extra pointy, the extra pointy end of this silver piece is going to connect towards di the direction of this little groove piece. So, like... That. Then do the same for the other one. Alright. And then, what's going to happen is you're going to take these two pieces You're going to plug these two pieces together and then, then fold this together and then attach this piece to this black piece with the, with the extra pointy bit pointed the opposite direction of the main mass of this black 
assembly. Tapped in like so. Very neat. And we can open this up so we can do the next thing. And this will be the only exception and the part of the assembly like this is the only time we're going to be doing this. I'm going to be adding the stickers on camera. Ooh, very exciting. Now I'm only going to be adding these green ones because these ones are I actually need to attach during the building process. The others I, I'm going to do off camera. So anyways, I grab a pair of tweezers, grab a piece, and in this, in this hole, this hole, and the middle of this yellow piece is where you're going to be attaching these stickers, like so. When honestly, when you have a pair of tweezers, it's honestly not that bad. So after you attach the sticker, you take one of these round pieces and just plug it in. Boom. And I think the reason why you add the sticker is that when you have this on top of there like that, you still see the yellow through there. But here, you don't see, you you get a lot more of that green. So that that's basically the reason why you would consider adding stickers during the build. It's not it's not particularly my favorite thing to do during the build adding stickers during the build but I've seen but I've assembled but I've well like I've seen kits that use this uh, that use this uh, tactic or I've seen model kits that use this sticker uh, sticker mid process trick in a very clever way and I and these are on and adding stickers on like so can honestly be pretty obviously they can be pretty tedious shoot Shoot, this green one likes, to, this middle one likes to jump around everywhere. And this is why I don't do this on camera. And yes, this one is different than the two over here. So now with that, we attach this, this piece. Have the little excess part, excess side, and plug this in. I will not lie, this this looks incredible, but I'm also not going to lie, uh, what, what was I going to say, oh shoot, oh yeah, these look incredible, shoot, like they, they honestly look incredible, but like, Oh yeah, I remember what I was going to say. Looking at, when I was looking, first looking at this model kit, I originally thought that these green parts in here were, would require glue. Not sure why, I just originally like made that assumption because of, but I'm glad to see that they don't require glue. That they just fit in perfectly. 
and it's really nice. So anyways, you fold this closed. Then take this piece, you shove, shove the blade through this part, and then it simply tabs in, simply clicks in. And now we have Samurai Caliber all done. I mean, how cool is that? But now with Samurai Caliber done, let's finish off the uh, powered Xenon pieces. So, starting off, we'll take this black piece. So we'll we'll take this part. Okay, so this part. So we'll take. These two sides and this part, what's happening here is we're going to have it so these pegs plug into these holes, like so, boop, and boop, have everything lined up and then the two halves will combine together look definitely looks familiar but it is built in an extremely different way then we take this little piece we attach it onto there and then we take this little face, this little bitty face, and then we plug this peg into this hole in the middle. We push that in, boom, there's the head of Powered Xenon. Really neat. Now what we can do is we see this hole, that's gonna click, clip, that's gonna like, fit onto this ball joint right here. And look at that. Now we have this head assembly thing for powered xenon done already. Next we're gonna do the uh, thigh sections, which is pretty simple. We just need like three parts each. Like th these two halves and uh, these little black parts each. The all of these parts are mirrored. I will like to mention that. So you take this part with the hole in it. You take this piece with a little excess on that side. Slide. No, you take this flat piece with no peg in it, take this part, plug it into this uh, giant peg thing right there, like so. Make sure the this excess part side is pointing at the side with the hole in it. Boom. Fit, squeeze that together. Now we have that done. With that done, we'll work on the other one. It's just mirrored. So fit that over. Make sure that the part with the excess, the rounded side, is pointing at the side with the hole. Fit this over squeeze it together and now we have these two parts all done up neat and then final and then let's the last parts are going to be like these giant leg parts so we take these giant big things we take these 
little like connected wheels things and then these extra little bits so we take one of these we take one of these like double like tire things that are slightly larger than the ones ones in three they're basically just like the uh regular ones the ones we i put on uh max but this time linked together so just like before so just like before there's going to be one flat side one rounded side the rounded side is going to be facing out. Plug. We plug the side, rounded side, the flat side facing in, the round side facing out. Do the same with this. Boom. With that looking nice. So then you take one of these parts, and yes, these parts are different because they have the hole on opposite sides. So you're going to be taking this one and have it and have it attached back here, like so. Then take this piece with the little headlight details and tap it in the front like so boom with that done we can work on the other one again same process here we take the two tire ones have it attached to here with the flat side facing out no the flat side facing in, the rounded side facing out. Let's repeat that again. Round, flat side facing in, rounded side facing out. Hopefully I've made that clear. Okay, then we attach these uh, these little pieces on like so and with that these are done as well as everything else and with that we have finally finished off the full power the moderate full power grid man model kits moderate kit and i will say it, it has been a pretty fun it's been a pretty fun build and i will say these look really cool yeah i'm now i'm going to be Attaching the stickers on these off camera on these parts off camera But yes expect uh, uh, Upcoming like re like review videos for these guys and expect like At least a couple more of these like model kit adventure like mini series uh, like mini like expect more you can expect more uh of these model kit adventure videos later on i honestly do enjoy these i actually get to like build these on camera and it's like attaching st some stickers on camera if the if i need to uh, if I require to build them during the build process is like the only time I'm would be willing to attach the stickers on camera because you saw me, because you saw me like flop around with the third sticker 
So that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed, if you enjoyed this, what you're seeing, consider to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about this particular model kit, feel free to leave a comment. And of course, I will be posting again sooner or later.